Okay, welcome out to our tackle trading video here. This one's on Thinkorswim and a tutorial on how to use the monitor tab. This is Coach T from Tackle Trading and we do these videos for our members on request as well as just things we're interested in. Um, Thinkorswim is a great platform, but it's a, it's a deep platform. There's a lot to it. There's no doubt about it. When you log into Thinkorswim for the first time, you're probably going to be inundated with information and not necessarily know how to process it. Uh, what we're going to do over the next, you know, couple weeks is maybe we'll do some videos on each section of, you know, at least the real critical areas that you have to learn to use Thinkorswim correctly. First one's the monitor tab. This is what I call home base, okay? Now, you'll notice off to the left, you have your account information, your news, your watch list. I'm going to do another one on watch list here in a bit. Uh, but I'm going to close that down for a minute while we look just at the monitor tab. So, and let's bring this back in here. Now, this is the way it may look if you've got it set up. You might not have those folders yet. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to unarrange the positions by spreads. I'm going to take all the check marks off so you can see how yours might look when you do to first start, first log in. A okay, color combo future. All right, so if you just have a big block of trades, they're all going to just be listed one at a time all the way down and uh, down the list. We'll get to those in just a minute. Uh, up at the top, you'll find activity and positions. So you'll know you're on the monitor tab if it's selected, highlighted in yellow. Okay, none of the other tabs are selected, obviously. You have activity and positions. Activity and positions is where you can look at your orders. You can also look at your positions. There's a lot of information here just uh, right on this tab. We'll come back to this, but let's go to account statement. Account statement is where you can go back in time and you can look and see what you did. Now, a couple of things. Number one, if you have it listed as all accounts up here, it won't let you search back in time. So you need to select an account, like your margin account or your IRA, and then you can go back and find transactions. That's very, very important. If I want to go, for example, oh, Instead of one day back, why don't we go 30 days back from today, then click off and it will show all of my transactions. It will load up here. Uh, let's open up my trade history. There's 34 right in there. See a bunch of different transactions. If I know that I want to look at a specific symbol, I can put in that symbol and it will find whatever I did on that symbol. Now, different folders are important. Order history trade history those are different things orders are communications I gave to the market trade is what I actually did what got filled or triggered or tra had the transaction happen okay uh, FX statements only if you're gonna be playing FX you can come in here and you can adjust these and look stuff up strategy roller I hardly ever use it but uh, if you are a covered call type trader you can do some rolling okay I'm gonna take pizza out I'm gonna go back into activity and positions so look at the order section, working orders. These are orders you have on the market that you're waiting to get filled, you know, one way or the other, either closing or opening. Every column, like time, spread, side, quantity, every column can be custom or organized by uh, alphabetical or numerical list if you click on it. Uh, it. Gives you all the information you really need to know why and where your, your trade is happening. The price column shows you what the the price that you requested to make your trade is and the mark column shows you where the current value of that trade is so by looking at those two numbers you can get an idea of why you haven't been filled yet filled orders pretty self-explanatory it's whatever you did today you know uh, the pound dollar BMY whatever it is it shows you what you did on the day that you're looking at your account so if you have four orders four fills shows you what your net price was so on and so forth canceled orders Sometimes your orders will cancel because you put them in as day orders. Sometimes they'll be rejected. Uh, sometimes that you just won't, um, you know, you'll cancel them manually, whatever it is. Those will go, on, go in that folder. Rolling strategies, if you have any on, we, those would be through covered calls. We don't have any on there right now. Now, next, position statement itself. There are a few buttons over here that are very helpful. Now, I'm in a paper money account while I'm showing these demos. I always do that. And then I click on adjust account. I can actually reset my account if I wanted to. If you guys ever want to do that, you can reset all balances and positions. You can set your account cash to something else if you want to have a smaller or bigger account. You can change the type of account you trade in, anything there. 
Be careful if you're going to do that and make sure you want to do it. Beta weighting, that's for another time. That's if you want to do some advanced math to figure out what the net deltas and all that kind of stuff are. That's for another video. And then these drop down arrows, this little series of drop down triangles, this is to either open up all my folders or close down all my folders. You can see how it kind of toggles through there. This next button is very important. It is the show actions menu. It allows you to change layouts from old to new. I'll show you that in just a minute. Show different groups. Okay. Uh, it allows us, let's take that off, take the groups off. You can do some automated grouping things, or you can do the grouping symbols. Now, what I choose to do a lot of times is group by spreads because I do a lot of options. And then I put a check mark next to everything I might conceivably trade, okay, because it may not actually create the folder. And there we go. Unless you have a spread on that strategy. Now what you'll notice is it will then group in my iron condors, group in my singles, group in my future calendars, group in my verticals, group in my stocks, so on and so forth. Now each folder, let's just take a few examples. We're not going to manage trades. I'm more here to explain information, but we'll come back to the show actions menu for just a minute. We can reset the columns. We can reset the groups. Uh, we can arrange positions by different instrument order time, things like that. This is an organizational button for the entire folder. Next, each folder has a little gear which allows you to either customize items, like some people like adding net liquidation, some people like adding trade price. I'm going to move that up. Click OK. That way I'll know what my trade price is here. I'll know what my net liquidation is here. There's other items in there you can either add or take out. But you'll notice I did that for Iron Condor. It added those items in Iron Condor, but not in single or anything else. Every folder has to be customized. Now, it will save it for you. You know, as you log, as you log out, it saves it every time. Uh, but you have to go through and customize what you want. Every trade has a little blue arrow next to it. It allows you to open up and look at the details of the position. Like for example, Celgene is a four-legged iron condor. When it's closed, I don't see any of that information. When it's open, I do. Okay, and then I can go through it one point by one point, time by time by time. Information that's important, quantity, that's how many you have. Days till expiration, three days on this one. Shows your trade price. Shows your total deltas at different legs. Shows your gamma, theta, vega, not only for the total in white, but for the individual legs. PL open. Now, if you want to click on the number for PL open, it will show you when you traded it. It will also show you what the prices are. Okay. PL day. It gives you that information for the total folder as well as individual price. And then your buying power effect. This is how much money it's, it's holding on the side to make your trade. Now, you'll notice some corporate events here. Uh, you'll see it says EITM, which means one of my legs is in the money. That catches my eye right there. Uh, it also shows me a red telephone. If I click on it, it will show me I have a conference call earnings for on the 23rd coming up. That's helpful information. Different folders, different things. You'll notice these little ye yellow, uh, you know, ringing bells. They're alerts. I can view my alert where I have it set. It lets me know what companies I have alerts set on. Okay, shows me all the corporate events on everything. That kind of thing future calendar verticals. If I have orders to buy back or to get rid of it or add new ones, you'll see these buttons on the left that say sell by. So I can view what orders I have. You'll also see down here where it says sell. It shows me where my order is. Now, down, down. Let's, let's go down to all these. Forex is calculated separately down on the bottom. So if you're going to trade Forex, you'll notice that it is separated from your position statement on equities, futures, and options. Uh, just be aware of that. Shows my cash and sweep. That's not a number that uh, we're going to dive into. It's not that, not that important for most traders, day traders. It can be. Overall P&L YTD shows you how much money you've made over the year, your available dollars, you know, on the account that you're looking at, all that kind of stuff. Now. The monitor tab just requires that you have some practice. My recommendation is to open up every trade, go through them one at a time every day, and, and apply your management rules. Now, if you're a new trader, you may not want to put as many trades on as an experienced trader. You know, you can keep it simple. You might only have four or five, but this is what it looks like, and this is how we use it. 
Uh, information's there. Now I want to show you a couple of other things. Some people like the old layout better. Okay, so if you want to go to the old layout, it will just list all of your trades out, and then you can open them up. There's no folders. Shows delta, gamma, theta, vega. Simple layout. Some people prefer the new layout where you can do a lot of the customization. Okay, this has been a video presented by TackleTrading.com, Thinkorswim tutorial on the monitor tab. Get in the game. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.